Is this the real neuron? Are these the dendrites? Along with the cell body Also attached to the axon The first stage The action potential Rests Until the threshold Level is exceeded where the sodium channels open and the ions start to diffuse and so it enters the depolarization stage, the second stage. During depolarization the action potential has had its change in, in voltage It has gone from negative 70 to positive 40 millivolts This is where repolarization, the third stage, starts Potassium channels start to open up and ions start to diffuse across the membrane And the sodium channels start to close During repolarization the action potential has had another change in voltage It has gone from positive 40 to a negative 80 millivolts Or maybe even lower This is called hyperpolarization Where the action potential has overshot the original resting potential The neuron is now in hyperpolarization and needs to get to the refractory period No, we cannot tell them what happens next Yes, they have to, yes, we have to, yes, they have to, yes, we have to, yes, they have to, have to, no, they need to know Sodium potassium pump resets the ions Sodium ions and potassium ions are once more s switching their places this causes the action potential to have a change in voltage back to negative 70 volts. This is called the refractory period. During this period, the neuron will not respond to any new stimuli until it reaches the resting potential. Negative 70, negative 70, negative 70, negative 70. Oh, this is the end, this is the end, so let's go and have a test. Oh, this has been action potential, action potential, action potential. So you think that every nerve is connected to each other? They actually have a gap between each other called a synapse But wait, there's more! The nerve impulses are sent between the neurons with special chemicals called neurotransmitters Anyone can understand Action potential Action potential Is 
方。